Today's video is about vector subtraction. How to do it, what it is, and why is it so similar to vector addition? As always, we have timestamps down below, and now it's math time. We saw in the previous video that if we represent vectors with arrows, adding them together is simply putting one after the other. Here we have a plus b equals c. But if we play with it a little bit, we can see that a equals c minus b. Now, what does this mean? Well, if we look at this, we can see that we can get a if we take b, flip it around, and add c and b together. So we could say that a equals c plus b flipped. And this is the essence of vector subtraction. To subtract b from c, all we need to do is flip b around and then add it to c. So putting a minus in front of a vector is the same as flipping it. But is this any surprise? We've been doing this with numbers all the time. 4 becomes minus 4, minus 7 becomes minus minus 7, or plus 7, and so on. So in the same way, when, when we want to find the opposite of a vector, we simply flip it around so that it points in the opposite direction. This is most clear when we're using polar notation, because the angle changes by 180 degrees, plus or minus, but the magnitude stays the same. If we were using Cartesian coordinates, all we need to do is flip those independently and we would get our new vector, the flipped version of the original vector. So vector subtraction is just vector addition with extra steps. For example, if we want to add A plus B, we simply chain them together like we've seen before and the result would be the sum of a plus b. However, if we want to subtract and do a minus b, first we need to flip the vector v and then add it to a, leaving us with this other result. Vector addition and vector subtraction differ in more ways than one. As we saw before, vector addition is commutative and it's also associative. Vector subtraction, however, is neither of those. It's not commutative because a minus b is not the same as b minus a. In fact, they are opposites of each other. And vector subtraction is also not associative because regrouping the vectors delivers different results. The lesson here is just to pay attention to the order of the vectors when subtracting and not to group them randomly. Now that we know how to subtract vectors, it's time to check that on the whiteboard. So our example is as follows. We're given four vectors and we need to operate with them in this way. You'll notice there is addition and subtraction mixed in, but we'll see how this is not a complication at all. Let's start with the green vector. The green vector is 6 minus 5, so in the x-axis we have a 6 and in the y-axis we have a minus 5. Our green vector therefore arrives just about there. Next one up is the blue one. So our blue vector is 4, 2 which would look something like this but it has a minus in front of it so we need to flip it looking something like that. To do this mathematically we just add a minus in front of both components and we put it after the green one. So 6 minus 4 is 2, and minus 5 minus 2 is minus 7. So the blue vector should arrive somewhere about here. The red vector is the next one in line, and this has a plus on, in front of it, so we don't need to do anything with it. Just count the places after the blue one. 2 minus 3 is minus 1, and minus 7 plus 2 is minus 5. So our red vector ends up just about there. Last but not least is the black one. 3 minus 6, something like this. But it has a minus in front of it, so we need to flip it around. To do that, we add a minus, so we get minus 3 minus minus 6, which is plus 6. 
and we add it to our components. So we have minus 1, minus 3 is minus 4, and we have minus 5 plus 6, which is 1. We put our black vector here, and this is the result. Our final vector resulting from this operation is the vector minus 4 plus 1. We can do this also mathematically, just by looking at the components. But since we have already flipped the components, we can treat this as a sum. So let's do it in a way that it makes sense here. Minus 3 and minus 3 is minus 6 plus 6 is 0, so we are left off with a minus 4. For the y component, we have plus 6 plus 2, which is 8, and we have minus 5 minus 2, which is minus 7. So 8 minus 7 equals 1 positive. And this is our result, which is exactly the same we got in the graph. And once again, that's it. Vector subtraction is exactly the same as vector addition, with an extra flip in the middle. If you still have more questions about vectors or something else, check out the link in the video description to our 2000 plus calculator collection and you'll find your answers there. If you're looking for another video to watch, I recommend this one that we made recently. And as always, if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment with suggestions for future videos, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.